Today, I'm gonna to talk about bullying and hearing loss. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Emily and I created Definite Hearing as a way to support the deaf and hard of hearing in addition to their friends and family members. I am hard of hearing myself. I wear hearing aids in both ears. If you haven't already, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to making more great content and increasing awareness for the deaf and hard of hearing. When you subscribe to my channel, you become a part of this wonderful definite hearing community. I hope you stick around to the end of this video because if you do, I am going to share my secret to dealing with bullying. The unfortunate fact of the matter is that dealing with bullying is not a matter of if, but when, especially for children with disabilities and hearing losses. Now, I will say that it's not just children with disabilities and hearing losses that get bullied, it's children across the board. My husband, Joel, was bullied in school too, and he does not have a disability like I do. It is important to note that bullying doesn't just happen to children, teenagers, but it also happens to adults. It can happen in the college environment, the social environment, the work environment, whether intentionally or unintentionally. But it is important to be aware of this and to be able to navigate any issues or things that may come up. Before I start, I wanna share just a few bullying stories of my own. The first story I want to share is the time that I was at the public pool with my cousin. When we were there, some kids approached us and said, hey, do you want to play Marco Polo with us? And my cousin replied, she can't hear, so thanks for the invite, but no thank you. So these kids just started following us around and harassing us, and we finally had to leave. And my cousin asked me, she said, like, how do you deal with the name calling and the rude comments and the stalking essentially and it was really good because I just got this opportunity to talk with her and let her know that like well on the bright side we were at the pool I couldn't hear 89% of what they were saying some of it I could hear and I kind of pieced it together and yeah it hurt my feelings and it was totally unnecessary on their part. They were obviously bored. They didn't have very much to do, but it was really great to have this opportunity to talk with my cousin about how I felt about it, how she felt about it. And I was so grateful that she took the time to talk to me and to make sure that I was okay. I felt like that was really important in terms of feeling those feelings and letting them go and not having to worry about it anymore. The second story I want to share was it took place in about seventh grade. My friend and I were in a class and there was an eighth grader that was sitting at our table. We introduced ourselves and he introduced himself and his name was Adriano. And I said, wait, Adriana? Because I just wanted to make sure I heard it right. And he said, no, Adriano. And he found out that we had a hearing loss and started kind of making fun of us. And luckily my friend and I were both there and she kind of stood up for me and I stood up for her. And we quickly learned that the bully just had a harder home life and that he wanted friends. We became really good friends with him. And it's just interesting, like even you're later in my life I would see him and it would be like seeing an old friend and I think the key to this was talking and so I share both of these examples to share that like yes I am a very optimistic person I consider myself to be very confident and resilient but when it comes to terms of bullying those the things that they said they hurt they did hurt my feelings but I took time to fill my feelings to recognize what I was feeling and I did not try to hide those feelings and I talked about them. That is huge. I was really grateful I had a safe environment to talk about these things. And so that is what I highly recommend that as a hard of hearing person or as a parent or friend of a hard of hearing person, it's really important to talk about these things. You know, we spend time talking about what happens in this reality TV show or who had the cutest Instagram post, but what really matters is talking about things like, hey, how are you doing? Are you feeling confident in yourself? Have you had any issues lately at work or socially? Like, are people being nice to you? It's okay to have that conversation and it's okay to talk about it. I think that it's necessary to talk about it. Thanks so much for staying around to the end of this video. This is my tip. My tip for combating bullying is to talk about it. Address your feelings, acknowledge how you're feeling, Find someone that you trust and talk about it. And it's important to address those feelings so that you can move on and not worry about it. Like I share these stories because I remember them because I went through them. But the sadness that I felt because people said unkind things to me is not baggage that I'm still carrying around 10 plus years later and it shouldn't be. So if you are dealing with anything like that, like go talk to a trusted friend or family member or go see a therapist. Like when you let things, when you carry things that long, it can impact your mental health and that is important to get addressed. So 
There is kind of my spiel about hearing loss and bullying and just bullying in general and whatever kind of bullying that may be, it's important to address it. I will say in all cases of bullying, stand up for yourself. Don't be afraid to say, please stop. Tell a trusted person, make sure that it gets stopped. Don't just give into it and let the bullier keep bullying you. I hope that helps. If you have any just stories you want to share or advice that you have for people dealing with bullying or just how you handle bullying and what you think about it, please let me know in the comments below. Know that this is part of the definite hearing community and we care about people. We care about making sure that people feel good about themselves and that they have confidence in themselves and despite their hearing loss that they feel like the sky's the limit, that they feel like they can do great things and succeed as much as they want to and as much as they dream to. I hope you like this video. Please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I look forward to sharing more excellent content. And please, if you know of anyone who's hard of hearing and you're listening to this, please share this with them so that they can feel uplifted and, you know, excited about life and recognize that bullying happens to all of us, the best of us. And it's not a matter of if, but when. So I hope that helps. I hope that you feel uplifted and please know that I am cheering for you. I hope you have a great day. Bye.